And bear with me for a few minutes. I'll try to walk you through recent uh, 10, 15 years, because to understand what's going on in Ukraine, you need to understand why uh, Russian government can do what it, it does and why uh, the political equilibrium is so much connected to economic history of the last 10 or 15 years. And basically, the economy is now not growing. It is actually stagnating. And this is a big difference from the first 10 years of Putin's government, starting in 1999 and ending with the crisis of 2008-2009. At that 10-year period, Russian economy was growing at 7% per year average. This is a most outstanding decade in Russian economic history, even including industrialization in the 1930s, when the economy was not growing as fast. And uh, what has contributed to it? Well, first, it's luck. A lot of people would uh, talk about Mr. Putin's main strength being lucky uh, and fortunate. He came exactly at the right moment when oil prices were low and started to grow and kept growing for 10 years. Uh, he came at the moment when unemployment was 14%. It's now 5.5%. He came at the moment where it was a lot of spare capacity, slack in the economy, which was with the growing oil price uh, uh, getting uh, back to normal. Uh, and that, of course, helped to fuel the growth. Uh, but it's not, of course, the uh, only story. Russian economy at that point was reformed, privatized, more competitive than it was before and than it is now. And uh, with the money flowing in, it actually picked up and recovered really quickly. And then I should give uh, uh, credit to Mr. Putin, who introduced a number of reforms in microeconomics, deregulating the economy, uh, improving property rights at that point, uh, and also introducing macroeconomic stability. Uh, Russia balanced the budget. Russia repaid foreign debt. Now foreign debt of Russia is 10% of GDP. Uh, this is the lowest uh, among largest countries, among emerging countries as well. Um, and uh, that fueled growth. That brought investment, uh, foreign investment including, and the growth continued. And the uh, Russian public, of course, was very happy to see that. Uh, and that explains uh, Mr. Putin's popularity, which continues today. Uh, you can actually break the, the, the data months by months, and you can see that economic performance is highly correlated with support, approval rankings of Mr. Putin. Now, that all changed in 2008, when Russian economy collapsed by 8% in 2009. And then it only recovered first at the 4% a year, and now, and then at 3% a year. And last year, 2013, the official data are 1.3% a year. So the slowdown actually started pretty much after the uh, economic crisis. First recovery was going on backed by consumption, uh, consumer lending, for example. Non-mortgage non consumer lending grew by 40% in 2012 and by 30% in 2013. So consumption was actually growing. This source of growth is probably exhausted by now. The other things which I mentioned, oil prices, which are high but probably not going to grow for a while, um, the spare capacity, the cheap labor, all that is gone. So uh, it is not surprising that the economy is stagnating. Uh, what is surprising is, given that it's not rocket science, to what extent uh, Mr. Putin and his government are not doing much about this. Um, and uh, in this country, you sometimes say uh, it is the government which is the problem. And it is exactly what uh, investors in Russia and outside of Russia think about, uh, about uh, uh, Russian investment climate. When uh, John was moderating a panel in Davos a year ago, uh, he asked the audience, out of five possible explanations of Russian economic problems, what is the most likely? Out of five questions, 80% of people in the audience in Davos plenary session, 80% said governance, which is corruption, which is expansion of inefficient government companies, which is non-accountability of the government. And with the popularity that Mr. Putin enjoyed over these years, he managed to renationalize the commanding heights of Russian economy. Uh, and. Uh, Somehow he didn't bring corruption in check. Corruption has grown, and uh, still he continued to be uh, quite popular. Investors didn't like that. Investment today in Russia is still below what it used to be in 2008, and it's also actually falling. And uh, uh, the stock prices are low, uh, so there are some uh, factors.